Hi, my name is Dan Grayerson and I'm an SAP consultant. And today I've been having a discussion whether or not to use SAP as a platform for all integration. Obviously, it makes a lot of sense to have the PI. Well, I'm a PI consultant. I do love it. Uh, but one of the things that I've been seeing is when you have moved to the PI platform, well, the reason I'm a bit concerned is we're now moving to PI from with method uh, business connector. And that's going to happen some other time. And there's a lot of legacy you have to develop or develop in order for you to be able to run a new environment. I don't know when the PI will stop maintenance on and uh, if, if it ever will, it will just be easy to upgrade. Uh, no, no need to do a lot of things there, but it could happen. Or your company in the change strategy to use this talk or something like that. I don't know why you would do that, but it gives you creating these kind of interfaces does give you a lot of uh, legacy code. So that's why I thought, well, what's the, the downside of using direct connections from, let's say, a portal to the backend system? Uh, you could expose the RFCs of the web methods in the ESR, and that would give an easy access to know what kind of ESR services you have. Um, just see here. Um, the performance will be better if it's just passed through the PI legacy uh, latency time is not a lot so people probably not notice it so it, but it will be a little better um, well the uptime is better you just have one component to to keep up and you can do whatever you want with with the PI system um, and I guess that's a lot of things that is dealing with how the gateway is doing. There you also have all the integration components built directly into the EP system. And you can deal with it there uh, without having to wonder what else is supposed to be there. If you use PI, um, the, the downside that I can see that is, well, you have some development work you need to, to do to configure everything, make sure it works. Um, if people want to change fields or something like that, you have to do that uh, there. Obviously, if you have multiple different portals that are all using the same functionality, but it's maybe working a bit different, the PI is the way to go because it will make you, well, enterprise service enable things and make sure that you can just run things the, the way they're supposed to. Uh, the PI can give you some better security. Uh, like if you have this portal in your DM set and it's enabled to, to call everything into the backend, it may be able to call other services that you don't want people from the portal to be able to call. So calling through the PI will give you, uh, and putting a firewall so no direct calls is possible, will give you a much better experience for the uh, much secure environment. Uh, the PI will also give you some monitoring that you can see, okay, we sent this message here. Obviously you need to lock the synchronous messages. Um, so I'm not sure if you want to do that. Um, and then I guess it's the, the standard approach to dealing with this, uh, but I think it's worth to consider when you want to do one thing versus the other thing. If the backend can expose things as web service, what's the value in those scenarios for the PI? It, it has a lot of value, and especially if you want to do mapping and expose RFCs to, to the user. But in some cases, it doesn't have a lot of value. So why would you want to do that? So just some, some thought that I hope you enjoy and uh, until we meet again, goodbye. Remember to subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel and put a comment here. What do you think? Is it a good approach to comment directly or to connect directly 
to the AP system without uh, going through uh, the PI system. See you.